Hey, what's up guys? So tomorrow, there will be the first Apple event keynote of this year. Thus, I wanted to make today's video discussing what is likely to happen at it. So to preface this, tomorrow's event is going to be a unique one for many reasons. One for the first time since 2012-ish, tomorrow's keynote will focus on creative new ideas for teachers and students. Now it's going to be held in Chicago at Lane Tech College Prep High School, and it's going to take place at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is normal, but that being said, this is also a unique event because it will not be live streamed. That being said, Apple did say they will publish it to their website once the event concludes. So anyway, what is likely to happen at this somewhat secret and private event? So we're obviously not going to see the new iPhone be released tomorrow, and to be honest, it's pretty much guessing game at this point of what is actually going to happen. Now one of the biggest speculations is whether iOS 11.3 will drop to the public tomorrow after the event, but considering this event is centered around teachers and students, it's not being live streamed, and most importantly we didn't see 11.3 Golden Master Beta last week or today, I'm having doubts on whether 11.3 will actually launch tomorrow or not. That being said, Apple did say it would have the software ready in time for spring, and here it is, it is spring right now, so we will have to wait and see. Anyway, apart from iOS 11.3, we could realistically be seeing a new pricing lineup and or student teacher discount or promotions for them, as it's looking like Apple wants to regain their momentum back into the classroom, thus it would not be surprising if Apple unveiled new plans for them. Now there have been some rumors that a new and cheaper iPad will be released for teachers in order to combat Google's Chrome tablet, and that theory may actually have some strength. Now last year's cheaper $329 iPad has yet to see a refresh since it actually came out, and since it came out, the iPad mini has always had a higher price point than it. So maybe it is true that we could be seeing a cheaper model of the iPad mini be released tomorrow. Now that being said, rumors have gone all the way from a new iPad to a new Apple Pencil to a new and cheaper MacBook Pro lineup. Also, Apple's wireless charging mat air power as well as the new AirPods wireless charging case have been thrown into the mix, suggesting that Apple will market them for teachers and students. I mean, people are even wondering if iOS 12 or the new iPhone lineup is going to launch tomorrow. And it's just crazy how out of control the rumors have gotten. But just taking a step back from all this really shows that no one has any idea what's going to happen for sure tomorrow. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see if new hardware or if just new pricing strategies are announced. It is, however, more likely that we will see a release and or updates to some of Apple's software. A new developer software intended for education purposes called ClassKit could very easily be released. We could also see updates to iTunes U and or Swift Playgrounds. And of course, it's still up in the air if iOS 11.3 is going to tie into this event at all, but like I said, that's looking less and less likely. Anyway, I mainly wanted to make today's video letting everyone know that the event will be held at 11am tomorrow, but there will be no stream of it. And as far as what is happening at this event, that information has been kept a secret pretty well. So stay tuned tomorrow as I will be reporting on the major events that take place at said keynote, as this will be very interesting to see what actually comes out of it. Anyway guys, if you like this video and want to see more, you know what to do. Thank you all for watching, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.